Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're trying to find the ratio of the pink area to the green area. Let's do this. So first, let's try to find the area of these yin-yang things. So let's pull them out. And if we put them together, they should make a circle. So it would just be half of that circle. And they don't. These make an ellipse. All right, scrap that idea. Let's try something else. So let's draw the radius right here. In fact, let's draw all these radiuses so that we have a square in the middle right here. And let's focus on that square. Each of these sides are two radiuses, so we can call it 2R. And yes, radiuses is the plural of radius. We could also say radii. The area of the square is going to be 2r times 2r. That's the same thing as 4r squared. Let's look at another copy of the square down here. Let's pull apart these quarter circles, bring down this green part. Let's rotate all these quarter circles to make a circle. The area of this circle will be pi r squared. The area of the green stuff is then going to be the area of the square minus the area of this circle. Now we don't need this circle anymore, so we can get rid of that. Let's bring this up here. And this is important, so let's put a box around it. Let's go back up to this square up here. Let's cut the square in half, and let's find the length of this diagonal. Well, this ends up making a 45-45 90 triangle, so it ends up being square root of 2 times one of these sides, so the diagonal is equal to 2r square root of 2. If you don't know about the 45, 45, 90 shortcut, here's the Pythagorean theorem right here. Pause it if you want to check it. Let's clean all this stuff up and put a box around this. So now let's find the area of our large circle. So we know that the diagonal of the square is equal to 2 square root of 2r, and now we don't need the square anymore. And then this right here is a radius, and this right here is a radius. So the diameter will be equal to 2 of the radiuses plus 2 square root of 2r. And if we want to know what the radius of the larger circle is, we would just divide all that stuff by 2, which gives us r plus root 2r. And now to find the area of this circle, we're going to do pi radius squared, where this right here is the radius. And then a binomial squared ends up being the binomial times itself. So we can foil this out. We'll leave the pi out front, and then r times r is r squared. r times root 2r is root 2r squared. Root 2r times r is root 2r squared. And root 2r times root 2r is equal to 2r squared. And then we can clean this up. r squared plus 2r squared is 3r squared. And then right here, we have 2 root 2r squared. So that would be 2 root 2r squared. And then we can distribute the pi. So we now have the area of this large circle. And we can put a box around that. We're trying to find the pink area divided by the green area. I think that is what this says. So the pink area is going to be this whole circle minus this green stuff. And then the green area is going to be this green stuff. We can get rid of these parentheses and distribute the negative. All six of these terms has an r squared. So we can factor out the r squared. And then we can cancel those r squareds. And then on top, this 3 pi and this 1 pi can become 4 pi. And now we are done. This is the exact value of the answer. Ends up being approximately 20.3308. How exciting.